The great looking rogue light deck builder Fate Hunters hits 1.0 after about 10 months in early access and sports awesome art, great deck building gameplay and 5 characters which is a good amount of variety. Super Life RPG is a life simulation game in every sense of the word, but we see the systems exposed to a much larger degree with stats and leveling up as you go about your day-to-day -day activities. Tidal Tribe is a classic god game where you guide and protect your villagers by shaping the land. You cannot directly control your villagers, so let's hope the AI is clever enough. Very reminiscent of From Dust. TTV3 is from the creator of the action arena game Ubermosh, but it's a maze exploration game with some serious looking hazards. The silhouetted look is very distinct and rather impressive. Warlocks 2 God Slayers makes the launch on Steam after previously releasing on Switch and is an action platformer RPG with great pixel art. Impressions thus far have been a little mixed, with some people complaining about the grind and the mid to late game, so let's wait and see on the reception on Steam. Hellsinker is one of the all-time great bullet hell shooter marks, which purportedly has influenced many other games in the genre.
there are three main characters named Dead Liar, Fossil Maiden, and Minnow Game, so that alone has got me very interested. Holdout looks to be a standalone Call of Duty Zombies mode since it is a 1 to 4 player co-op zombie survival game where you have to hold out in a location and fight off the waves of the zombies. Graphics look pretty impressive so I wonder how much variety there is. Legend of Sinama is an existential JRPG which seems to have both fantasy and modern day elements which is an intriguing mix. While it does look like it was made in an engine like RPG Maker, the mix and variety of areas and creatures is impressive. Possession is a traditional turn-based roguelike with procedural generation where you play as a ghost and can take control of dozens of different types of enemies. It doesn't have items unlike other roguelikes so I'm wondering where the depth to the systems is. Devoted to an ideal, devoid of compulsion, devoid of violence. I guess I liked it because I never understood it. They say you can't really change without confronting the past. For some, it takes great effort. For me, it seems I can't avoid it. My past just came kicking in my front door. Redeemer is an intense action game where you play as an angry old monk. Game Reactor describes it as God of War meets Hotline Miami, so you know what to expect, 
but the brutal, crunchy action and great visuals really has that Hotline Miami feel. This launches on all modern consoles as the Enhanced Edition about two years after the Steam release. Another roguelite deck builder, Raven Land, launches in early access this week, so fingers crossed that it will follow in the footsteps of Slay the Spire. For more upcoming indie game new releases, check out the previous video or click on the recommended playlist and I will see you after the jump.